hey lovely people welcome back to my channel this is the cast hub in today's video i'll be showing us how to make this trending structural pattern that is always been attached at the sleeve you can see it here if this is what you love to watch kindly sit back if you're coming across this channel for the first time i will highly appreciate it if you will subscribe to my page and put on your notification bell to always get notified whenever i post a new video you can see mine the way i created it to my existing subscribers i do not take you for granted i really appreciate you so let's get into the business of the day Okay, here are the materials I'll be using for this um, structure that we're about to recreate. Then that is the crinoline I'll be using. Then my the boning, you can choose to use any boning of your choice. And make sure that when you're creating the channel for the boning, it's the same size with your boning. So that is the material I'll be using. On a fold of two, it is three and a half. The length is 30 inches. The length is 30 inches. The max you can go is 30 inches. You can reduce it depending on how fat or how slim the customer is. You can increase it. You can reduce it depending on how fat you increase. Depending on how slim you reduce. But 30 is the standard measurement. So this is on a fold and I have 3.5 inches. That means if you open it up, it should be 7 inches. Why I made it 3.5 inches is because the crino line I'll be using is 3 inches. So I'm going to be joining one side of the material with half inch then to create a channel where I will pass the crino line through. So I'll be heading over to my machine to sew it down. To sew it down by half an inch, one end of the material. Remember, I folded it already. So one end of it, that is where I'm showing you. I'm going to sew it right down. Then I will bring it back so that we'll see what I have done. Then we'll head over to the next step. So if you are with me and you want to practice, you can go ahead and cut out your own material the way I have already cut out mine on a fold of two, 3.5 inches by 30 inches. Then once you are done cutting that, you go ahead and sew it as well on your machine. Here we go. I'm done sewing it. So I'm just going to trim out the rough edges. So what I'll do now is to turn it inside out. I'm going to turn it inside out. You can go ahead and do yours the way you're seeing me do right now. So once I'm done turning it inside out, I will take it to my ironing table. The way it is, I'm going to be ironing it the way it is. You can see the seam, the way the place I sewed is at the center. So I'm going to be ironing it exactly the way it is here now. So that is what I'll be doing now. And I'll be heading over to my ironing mesh uh, table and then I will iron it and bring it so that we we'll all see. All right, I am done ironing. So the next thing I'll be doing right now is to pass in my crino line into the casing so i'll be measuring exactly 30 inches exactly the way i have it on the material that is what i'll be doing so i'll just trace it out and cut it out then after i'm done with that i'm going to pass it through the material i'm passing it in you'll be very very careful you can see the way i folded it to allow it pass through so once i'm done with passing it in this is what we'll have after I have done, I am done passing it in. So what I'll be doing next is to create the channel for my boning. I'll be adding three, uh, three, three boning, that's three streams of boning. So I'll be going ahead. My boning is half inch. So the channel I'll be creating will be half inch and it's going to be in three places. So I'm going to go ahead and um, create three channels there so i'll be so i'll be doing a stitch i'll be running four stitches on this uh, material right now on my machine to be able to create three channels for my boning all right i'm done creating that so once you're doing do, um, you're done doing that you find out that it will be rough 
you have to use your iron and iron it down even after ironing it will not be as um, smooth as it's meant to be but the ironing will make it to look better so what we'll be going ahead next to do is to cut out our boning remember my material is that 30 inches so the boning i'll be cutting out will be less by one inch so i'll be cutting out 29 inches boning I'll be cutting three, which I've already done. I've already cut it out. So you can go ahead and cut yours out. Once you're done cutting it out, you will carefully, I'm going to carefully pass it through the casing that I have already provided. So that is what I'll be doing right now to pass in the three boning into the three cases, casing I have already provided if you have watched to this extent kindly give us a thumbs up subscribe to our page and always get notified whenever we post a new video by putting on your notification bell thank you for sitting through thank you for being with us here all right here we go i am done passing in the casing so what will i be doing next i'll be going to attach it the way the customer will want it you can play with it you can play around with it when you're attaching it to your material and what i'll be doing next is to cut out flowers from the material that i'm using from the net material i'm using i'm going to paste it with my gum with my fabric gum on this you will see it so here we'll have it you can see i've already pressed the flowers I cut out from the material that I'm using and I've gone ahead to pin it down. I've just pinned it down because when the customer comes, I'm going to place it the way he wants, she wants it. So just give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for sitting through and thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.